a few moments ago here it is it's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel these folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears and they'll start this drive just across the 30 pretty nice work on the return Lions take over first and 10 at their own 31 yard line Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now here's a quick throw to start the drive complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, Got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And once again, he's going to be stopped up behind the line. Second straight play. Shades of the 85 bear defense a little bit. And it's third down. Two, love with it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Complete two First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. First down, Lions. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your be you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. So they hit pay dirt, but don't count it yet. There's laundry on the field. We'll see what the penalty flag is about. So retract the yardage and retract the touchdown. And retract the chunk play. Big strike there to get the touchdown. Now they've got to take it back and see if they've got another one still in their arsenal. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and 10 right at the 20. To throw now. Here's Love. They'll try and set up the screen to Hines. 
And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him nine. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to... And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Naeem Hines, his 26th touchdown, drawing even with Marshall Falk for the fourth most in a single season. And the Lions are going to take a first quarter lead. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly set to kick off. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken from about the 12. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Of course, he's coming off that NFC Offensive Player of the Week performance. Two scores in that game a week ago. And how did he get them? Speed is one thing, but how about the niftiness in his route running, able to cross people up in the secondary and make sure that they can't quite get to him before the ball arrives. He's something after the catch as well. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. At the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. From the shotgun, Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Lamb. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. First and goal at the 5-yard line. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll run with Booker. And he takes this one in for the Bears touchdown. It's the fullback. His first touchdown on the year. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here's me, Cole Hardman. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Lions take over first and 10. 
at their own 29-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A first down there on a pickup of 25. These two teams all tied after one. With the score tied, seven to seven. down. It's Hines and able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. He was brought down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he takes this all the way down to the Bears' 11. 31 yards there and a first down. This has been a good drive so far. And it's been the running game for the most part. Just powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. On second down now. It's Hines, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. And it's third down. This is Hines. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. A 22-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. the line prepping for their next drive the Bears offense and Charles if the season ended today and it's not going to we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> we're only in November uh, but they would be a wild card team and that's great they'd be in the playoffs but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders that guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs and that's what you're really seeking but there also isn't much margin for error for this team right because right where they're sitting a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Darnell Savage. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. At their own 42-yard line. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. this time with Love. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. This is caught at the 20. Love's pass. 33 yards that time. I know we love our jobs and pretty much any play we see play. we're pretty you know First excited down, about. Lions. But big plays let's face it that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. On first and ten, it's Lindsey. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. Pickup brings up second and seven. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top-five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. Third down, Love. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Marquise Brown, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Booker to return it. And able to get this out to the 25. At their own 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological... And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack 
is a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And he completes it to Westbrook. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball. And let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 25 yards that time. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well. And they pick up big yardage. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Allen Robinson. As the first half is winding down, and the Bears have cut it to within a score. Well, this could be a big turnaround. They get the touchdown here in the final moments of the second quarter. And remember, Charles, they're going to get the ball to start quarter number three as well. So what you're saying is, if they take the ball down to start the second half and score again, it could change the entire complexion of this game, couldn't it? Absolutely. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Hardman on the return. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Nicole Hardman on the return. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 32. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. Eddie Jackson. The first down pass. Intercepted. The Bears take over first and 10. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. After the interception, here's Wilson. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Bears have retaken the lead. So they're able to capture the lead here just before halftime. And not only that, they get the ball to start the second half. That's right. This is almost like basketball down the stretch, right, where you get the two-for-one situation where you try and get two shots to your opponent's one. In this situation, they got the touchdown. They'll get another shot at to start the second half. Could be a big turnaround. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Set to kick off. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? This is taken just shy of the 10. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. 
Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now, hotly contested in the third quarter. And some room to maneuver. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one, as he just did there. And so close, he gets it to the one out of bounds right there. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because... And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Bears will add on to their lead. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Makes the score Bears 28, Lions 17. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Here's Hardman on the return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. On the return, the Lions take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception to see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. And Tim at the 29-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. again with Hines. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all. And it leaves him with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They got to make some moves. On third down, Love. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. That'll go as a 39-yard punt. Give him nine on the return. And the Bears take over. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Glad you're with us from Soldier Field in Chicago. Third quarter here, second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Fuller. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 
16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Good work after the catch, going to net him 23 and a first. first. Now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. From the gun, it's Wilson. That is caught at the seven. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. His second TD of the game and 18th of the year. As the Bears push further out in front. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here's Hardman on the return. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good return up past the 30, but was it aided by an illegal block or a hold? Let's see. So holding will scratch off some of that return. And I know fans get frustrated when they see penalties of this sort on kick returns, but it is difficult to do it right against these moving targets at full speed. Hard to do. They run with Hines. Room here to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle, or if you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. You got a chance to rumble. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. And the Lions... First down. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. Hines. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Charles, this one, not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. And what, if, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win. Right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Well, they've had success on the ground on this drive, and that makes a defense more likely to overcommit to stop the run as they did on that play. But keep in mind, it makes them susceptible to play-action passes as well. 
Now a second down throw for Love here. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Another pass attempt, another incompletion. You, you figure defensively, you're in the fourth quarter here. You've held a team under 100 yards passing. You've done your job. Especially in today's NFL, which is truly a pass-first league. The Lions on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Desperation time here, love on fourth down. And it is incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Bears will get the football back. Everyone gears up for third down, talks about the importance of it. But fourth down, that's truly the moment of truth play, isn't it? Everything's dialed up a little bit more. And it, you know, it's such a momentum play, isn't it? Absolutely, because it can flip either way depending on who converts on fourth down. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the 16-yard line. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On third down, Wilson. He finds his target, Fuller. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. The 37-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Don't get nervous. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55. Mike. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 36-yard line. Second and 11 now. Wilson. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. The Bears on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and 11. Wilson. Buying time to his left. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. First and 10 at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. The 20, Will Fuller, nobody there to stop him. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. The kicker on. The 21st pick back in the 2016 draft, Will Fuller, and we know that he can take the top off of a defense. He certainly can, and the way that he does it is just straight, pure speed. And I talked with one of the better defensive coordinators in the league, and I said, how do you defend that? And he said, at times, you absolutely don't. If the quarterback gets time and he heaves it downfield, Will Fuller's going to outrun any coverage you put out there. Nicole Hartman on the return. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. First down, Detroit. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Gets through and now an opening. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hines. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance. Reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. And you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they could pick up something. Instead, they were throwing for a loss. On fourth down, Love. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. Well, I get it, Charles. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Down big. They just sent their receivers out, let it fly. But the defense, they were ready. Yeah, and there aren't too many people left in the stadium that couldn't see that coming. But that's not a major criticism at all because you had to try it. What you're hoping for is one of your athletes and athletes everyone else that makes a dramatic play. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. He's letting this one go for Fuller. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It's now second and ten. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It'll be a pickup of 13 on the play. And it'll give him a fresh set.